some bright spots. I thought we threw the ball deep uh, well, even though it was inside. Uh, Josh, you know, we've always known he's got a, a good uh, arm strength. I thought he and Tanner connected with a couple deep balls today that were touchdowns. Of course, that always concerns you about the defensive backs, but uh, nonetheless, they put the ball in the money. Um, I think we need to work on our uh, completion percentage and uh, the short passing game, but the deep balls are going fairly well. I thought uh, our defensive line had some good pressure today. That can be a double-edged sword. Uh, you know, you look at okay, is that the offensive line? But I do think we've got some good edge pressure, which is uh, going to be really helpful. You know, a couple things. I think Brian continues to really go out and excel and uh, challenge himself to become better and better all the time. So I was encouraged about that. And you know, I think you're seeing some um, some good things out of Zach Wallace at the uh, left tackle spot. So this time, any questions? Greg, I know it's just three practices, mm -hmm. but is there any separation at at quarterback yet, or is it just mm -hmm. still too early to 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 see that? I think it's too early that, you know, there's going to be a body of work that we're looking at. We're mixing the guys. They're, they're going from the first group to the second group. And so, you know, we're charting everything. Uh, you know, one guy will have a better day than the others. But uh, we'll, we'll continue to take a look at some things. Uh, I think that both guys are um, – competition brings out the best in you, and both guys are competing. What about the, the switch with Wallace and Cummings? Mm -hmm. How does that progress then? We think well. Uh, you know, the, the combination of – uh, Zach on the left side really helps us in some of our five-step game out of the pro-style uh, sets. And then along with that, just he and Chase on that side and, and uh, Ryan and Caden. Caden did get nicked up today. He did not finish practice. Caden Jackson, I, I think he'll be okay. The trainers gave me an indication that he was fine but uh, had some uh, lack of strength in his knee. So we kind of took a cautious approach there. But outside of that, I think we came through fairly well um, as far as health. But getting back to your question, we, we like – that was a good move. Sometimes you make them and it doesn't work, but I think it was a good move. Are there any kind of glaring concerns after just, I know, mm -hmm. just three days of three practices? Are there any concerns you have uh, right now going well, in, going it, into week two? You know, I, I, I going into week two, but I'm concerned about, uh, you know, our completion percentage, just understanding, uh, you know, in the West Coast offense, you need to have a, you know, your completion percentage needs to be above 60%. When it's 11 on 11, we're not there yet. So that's a, that's a concern. A little bit concerned about the defensive tackle position, just our strength and depth. You know, we're going to continue to work with those guys, and we've isolated some, you know, some drills just to try to get those guys better. You know, uh, both uh, Johanna and Connor are, are mixing it up, and they're they're a little bit light in the britches right now. Uh, and we're going to need to continue to work with those guys. But we're concerned. I'm concerned there. We're going looking at the week two, just a lot of the same, more installation, obviously teaching, yep. anything different, or just a lot of the same for week um, two next week? You know week. what, uh, some more installation. There'll be some maybe uh, more competitive uh, drills. There will be a day, you know, we're following, uh, uh, you know, the protocol with number of uh, practices that you have where you have full tackling with Brown. We didn't do that today, uh, but we may integrate a drill or two where next week we – because I think it's important beyond just being in the right spot, what guys can tackle and which ones can't. And mm -hmm. certainly you can improve that, but some of it is identifying which guys can tackle. So we'll probably do something like that sometime next week. It'll it'll be pads, at same schedule Tuesday, Thursday, uh, and Saturday. Aside from Caden, Craig, is you, may, you know, other than the guys you knew were going to be limited or out this spring, any any new injuries or is everything uh, pretty yeah, good Austin that Yeah, Austin Fort not uh, complete today. Uh, he had, a, I believe, a pull, either hamstring or groin, but he mm -hmm. had a pull, he didn't complete it. Uh, hopefully it's nothing that's uh, severe. He was showing good signs of that transition to tight end, and so it'll be important for him to get out there. But outside of that, those those are the only two that, that were pulled. Do you notice anything?